but he chose not to. And he did repent, but just not to the right person. He didn't repent to the right person. He went back and asked people to forgive him. He wanted to undo what he had already done. But I heard Bishop say last week, you made the decision. Now you gotta live with it. You made this decision. That's what happened. So why would you choose death? The wages, of, the Bible said, the wages of sin is death. Why? Would, and, and, and the Bible does say that he hanged himself. Now today, you don't literally have to hang yourself. You can die spiritually. You can lose the mind and, and leave church. You can die emotionally. You don't. You don't always mean a physical death. So dying a spiritual death is the worst thing that can ever happen. So regardless, I know that. I know we might not know how he's gonna make it back, but the Lord gonna make a way. He's still gonna choose life. I know that, Bishop, I know you got a lot of things going on, Bishop, but we still gotta choose life, Bishop. I know, Elder Ron, you got your situation going on, but it's still life in your situation. I know that we got situations going, but there is always a positive. Regardless, yes, yeah, a negative. Life is full of good and bad. God is a creator of good and evil. If it wasn't evil, then there would be. That when you wouldn't cherish God the way you do. If it wasn't evil, you wouldn't love God the way you do. You wouldn't sit there. You know what I'm saying? How you gonna love God without the test? If 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 I don't if I went to, if I wouldn't have went to jail, if I wouldn't have lost everything, if I wasn't homeless going from sofa to sofa, trying to take a shower, if I wasn't trying to find going days without eating, if I wasn't homeless when I was 21, sleeping in the car and take a shower at Planet Fitness, if I wasn't if I wasn't battling suicide in my mind, if I wasn't battling depression, if I wasn't drinking alcohol and smoking weed back to back, and I still made it here, if I'm still standing here, if I'm still standing here to preaching the gospel then what excuse do you have? Yeah, I know that, and I'm speaking very right, not just no, not one specific person. I, yeah, I know you may have been molested. Yeah, you may have been raped. Yeah, you may have been jumped. Yeah, you may have been on crack cocaine. Yeah, you may have been on heroin and all these other drugs. Yeah, you may have been an alcoholic. Yeah, your parents might not have been him. My parents went there either. My mama was there. My daddy was gone off the road. It was only just me and my grandmother. Most of my mom was working. So what excuse do you have? You have breath and go by. That's enough right there to praise you. The blood is still running warm in your veins. That's enough right there to praise you. You have a roof over your head. That's enough right there to praise you. You have a job to, to feed you and not only you but your kids. That's enough right there to praise you. Why would you just sit here and not give God what's due to him? Why would you not give God the glory? Why not give him the honor? Why not show him how much you do to him? How, why would you not... Love him. Why would you not? So I ask you today this one simple question. Do you love the Lord? Are you saying yes because you really love him or are you saying yes because I asked you the question? It's heavy in here right now. Because you can't say yes forever. You can only speak for yourself. Do you love the Lord? If I can just get the church to stand on your feet. You love the Lord. If you love the Lord, if you really love him like you say you do, tell him I love you, Lord. I love you, Jesus. I don't know who I'm talking to in here today, but Jesus, I love you, God. I, I don't know who I'm talking to in here today, but God, I give you everything, Lord. I give you my all, Jesus. I know I ain't where I need to be, God, but I love you, Jesus. I, I want to serve you, Jesus. I give you all my life. I give you my mind. My body, my soul, Jesus, I love you, Jesus. I ain't supposed to be here, Jesus, I love you, God. I ain't supposed to be here, Jesus, I love you, Jesus. Jesus, I love you, Jesus. God, I lost my mind. You could have lost your mind if you give him praise. You shouldn't be standing here right now. They should have killed you out there in the world. You should give him praise. Do you love the Lord? And the church say hallelujah. What's the highest praise? What's the highest praise? Come on, clap your hands and tell God, thank you. Oh, you can do that. Why won't you praise you? Why won't you give him glory? Why won't you give him honor? You sit in here with life and not death. You sit in here the day and you receive blessings and not curses. Why you won't give him the glory? Somebody give him the glory. Give him the praise. 
There's always somebody doing worse than you. You can give him some glory and you will give him some praise. Lord, we thank you. Lord, we thank you for life and blessings. Somebody tell him thank you. It can be worse than what you're going through right now. At least you're here. Tell somebody, I'm here. At least I'm here. I'm here. Going on. Lord, we praise you. You gotta love him enough that he loved you so much, he ain't gonna even wait for you to talk to him. He'll come and talk to you. And I was just laying there and I was just listening to him. He was just talking. Just talking. Talk. And I said, Lord, if it gotta be me, let it be me, Lord. But I don't. It gotta be me, the one that go through, let it be. I was praying because I know most people can't handle it. They can't handle the test. I said, Lord, I'll go. I'll go. Because I ain't got nothing else. I realize everything is balanced. Come on, clap your hands and put it down. I didn't even rush the service because we got two hours. We're here in Brothers instead of self, so you gained two hours. Yes, sir. So you did that to the Lord. But uh, we ain't having no, none of the water activities today. I let the kids go there and, and, and do it, but we're going to have to be back here at 7 o'clock prep. I know some of y'all on the road, and I want all the children and everybody here, because God doing something for these children. And to be honest with you, it's going to come from me too. Yeah. And y'all want to just sit in there and go to sleep, you do it. I just came out here a few minutes with these children. And God did something. Y'all love the Lord? Yeah. Come on, clap your hands and tell the Lord. Yeah. Lord, we thank you for this food. That's this food for the nation of our bodies. And Lord, we thank you for the saints. Thank you for your people. You need to thank God for being in the greatest bodies of believers. God put you in the truth. You could have landed up anywhere. And I don't care how low you are now, God said, I'm going to pick you up. Because I'm going to pick you up. I was looking at uh, Shanice when Leo was preaching. She'd be picking at Leo. Called a false prophet. But, she didn't love to hear Leo preach because Leo said it's heavy, you know. It's heavy, you know. I'm finna talk to y'all. She needs like that. But she called them TD Jakes and everything. And she said, y'all love the Lord. And I was thinking about it. She keep picking at me. I'm going to send Leo to a church and I'm going to send Shanice over there. And we're going to pray him on. Leo's going to be your pastor. 
Don't care does he keep cutting up? Luke gonna be our pastor. <laughs> Since then, I'm gonna be your father. <laughs> Y'all love the Lord? Come on, clap your hands and take your time. I love you. I love you. I'm so grateful for what God doing for the body of Christ. Thank God for what he's doing there for these young people. And y'all grown folks need to get to song too. Amen. Y'all love the Lord. Now tonight, we're going to have Byron. Oh, and I'm going to tell you, Byron, there's a reason why I picked you tonight. Because they see shut down. And they're going to be on their phone. They're going to be looking at Minister Byron Jackson. All right. And he was in the 100th September, he was in town. And 